Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda. Welcome back. I have a beautiful kit to show you today from Antonio. It's the his Vintage Ephemera Mega Bundle. 27 pages of beauty. So I wanted to show you just how... Well, these pages are just so fun. If you remember, well, it's been quite some time that I used this first kit and made a journal with it and I, I uh, cut out all the little bits with an X-Acto knife and made it look really old. But um, yeah, all these pages, I wanna make sure that you can see them. You can see them on his website as well, but I've already cut into the kit. So I, I thought I would show you on my iPad all the loveliness all the different documents, uh, marriage certificates. There's a British Nationality Act from 1948, but such fun ephemera that you can add into journals. And then there's this one here. And they're all stamped. This is from October 30th, 1950. And this one is 1959. Um, it isn't English, so... I'm not sure uh, what it is. It could be um, Swedish or German. I'm not sure. But uh, this one's from 1961. But so many different bits of ephemera that uh, you can use. You can put into envelopes or in pockets. You can make them journal covers. And here he's popped a little collage of all the papers in there. Sorry if I was going a little quick. And then he has some ephemera bits, Papa's letter, and then there's a letter there. And there's just some little uh, stamps. And then this one with uh, some music. And there's a couple of uh, letters there. And then we come to this one, little bank notes, and his bingo card. And I'm not sure what that one is, but, and then here, it's like a little spreadsheet for, for uh, purchases. And all of these fun little tickets, right? They are just so awesome and then there's this page here and then he goes into uh, like journal pages or they're all collaged bits and they're all the different colors that he has so we have a beautiful pink tone and all the bits in the background whoops and then we have the blue tones so gorgeous and then here we have reds and pinks and there's just a multitude of uh, the different colors there. But look at that color, the yellows and the, just the hints of green in there. And then we go into the green page. Like I never used to like green and boy, I really like it now. All the different hues. And then here we have a sheet beautiful flowers in the front with this railway uh, ticket or whatever in the background. And then we have this one here with the flowers, but the pages are gorgeous and a nice black and white uh, hued one. And then we have this colored. And so 27 pages of beauty. So if you go to his site, you know, check that out. And uh, he has really good prices on his site. So yeah, just go have a look. Anyway, I put this journal together. I did not do it on camera. It was a little bit tough for me. I'm not sure why, but whatever went could go wrong with me doing the spine did go wrong. <laughs> But uh, I just added one of the sheets on the cover and it's with a junk mail envelope that I used. 
I have my my pail of junk mail is full again and so I need to start using it up so I used one of the sheets and then I used some of the ephemera bits and then I just left this open as a little tuck spot and I just put some ephemera bits in there and then this is glued down completely looks like I have to just fix in there so I haven't decorated it I haven't added pockets or anything but I'll just go through and show you like these are the different pages and then my coffee pages and these were the last of what I had so I have to do that again as well that gorgeous green it just like bright bright just awesome and then we have the more muted and then there's that and then the income tax uh, sheet but just it's just a simple little uh, journal that I'm going to add pockets into and make some tags and there's the center and I left that one there and I didn't do anything on the whites because I'm either going to um, stencil on them or I'm going to add Either way, I'll probably do some stenciling or some painting or some spatter on them just to give them a little bit of character. And then I'll add, you know, the pockets or belly bands or the side tucks. So we'll do that. And there's the other side of the marriage certificate. And some of them I could have turned around so that one side isn't all white and the other side isn't all the pictures, but I never thought of that until just now. But, I mean, it happens, right? So that's the journal. And there's the back. And I just added some cotton down the spine and I just added ink to it. Blacks, um, vintage photo, and... Um, I think the frayed burlap is on there as well and they're just Tim Holtz inks and that's all I did and then I just cut out some bits and I cut I just grabbed some book page for uh, you know collaging or whatever and I had some uh, blank tags it, it happens to me all the time <laughs> whenever I start something but I'm going to just take the file folder and I'm just going to do my best to cut straight and if not it's okay because I'm I'm going to use my mini cutter just to help me to uh, do some stuff but I thought we could make some tags attach some pockets you know and if, so if you want to craft with me Grab your stuff, whatever you're working on, and let's just uh, have a play at creating. So I just got a couple bases here. Let's just start with that. And then I backed these ones with some brown paper bag. Just a few of them to have a base, and I thought they could be uh, nice little pockets. And then I just want to make some tags and I will just do that. I did ink all these pages up already. So I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing really good, trying to stay warm. Our van won't start because of the cold. The battery just completely croaked. <laughs> so we can't go anywhere or do anything until that's fixed. It's too cold to walk anywhere. So yeah. So we've just been hunkered down at home and, excuse me if my head was in the way. 
and just glue that down. Like I didn't, I didn't really have a plan. I just thought I would come on and craft, get a few things done, right? And that's what it's about. I know even in the States, there's been some weird weather happening too. So it is everywhere. And then just grab my, my punch. I have, I cleaned up my whole room. I got everything just right. And of course, you know, you start projects and your desk gets messy again, but that's okay. It's supposed to happen, right? So there you have a nice writing spot. You can add a pocket to the back if you want. I can, no, no, I won't put a pocket on this one. I'll just, I'll just uh, leave it for now. And then I have, I have this little tin of uh, tabs that I've made. And this one looks really nice with the color. So I'm just going to add a tab to it. Here I am making a tag and I don't have a pocket to put it in yet. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's okay. You don't have to start um, doing things in a certain way. You can just, like an order, a different order. I'm just doing, just playing, right? And that's what it's about. That looks awesome. So let's bring in the journal and... So in here is where you can put a pocket and then, oh, and that'll even fit. So let's do that. I'm just going to snip the corners with the little, with the little edge here. And you can just start adding and I will uh, probably spatter this page. with paint. You can do it with ink. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do it with. You can just take stencils, like I say, and then just make it pretty with your stencils. Or you can just leave it white. Lots of writing space on here, which is great. So there we go, and then we have a home for the tag. And then I had this was given to me and I've been wanting to use it, but the colors aren't really the same, are they? So I might have to wait on that. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I'd like something for a, a belly band or these things are, they're all thick, but it's okay to cut them down. Um, sorry. All right. There's a nice, I'm just going to make a little tick where the, for the height, excuse my arm. And then I don't want it to be too thick, but what's nice is this will make two uh, belly bands because it's doubled. There we go. And then these I keep, they're good to stamp on. Just trim off the bottom with my scissors. And 
and then I have two. So then there's that, and then we're just gonna dress it up. Can use glue stick, I just use my tacky glue. And I didn't cut this down because I'm gonna have it as uh, I'll just cut it so that it's completely covering the whole the whole belly band just like that. And then you can just dress it up with uh, lace or flowers, you know, whatever theme. If you're doing a theme in your journal or if it's just eclectic, then you just, you just make it however you want. But I'm going to decorate it with my, my bits simply because this is what I'm uh, highlighting, right? Is... Antonio's kit but I'm just checking in my in my little ephemera box here because I have uh, I just have one of these as well but let's pop this belly band in I already put something in the front so I'm going to go to the back and we'll pop that right to right in there there we go just simple projects and then you just make them however you want that's the fun of these and i'm just gonna take one of oh, See the one page that was all, it looked like it was ripped and old and I just did the cutouts and added that and I'm just going to fold it up and put it in behind. There we go. Not quite dry yet, but I think it'll be okay because it's a thin piece of paper. So just like that. Back to the front. I mean, you can do altered paper clips. Oh my goodness, you can do all kinds of stuff. And this is how quickly the, the desk gets messy. Yeah, I just, I just put the paper bag on the backs of these to give them a little more structure as pockets, so. Excuse my arm. And then this can be written on. I'm gonna make this a little tag. Just use the medium corner, just because it's a smaller tag. toppers here. I'm using these because I have them and it's nice to get them used up. They've been waiting to be used. So and then on the back. There we go. And 
you don't have to put it at the top you could put it at the side if you want especially if it goes into a, a little side pocket then you can add it here or on the other side wherever you'd like it to go and then there's a really nice writing spot get down and then there we go I'm just going to grab my stencils and we'll do that and I'll just show you just had this stencil sitting here it's got some swirls on it let's uh, let's just do that use my aged mahogany should have my there we go talking about it might as well just do it right that's what I say great way to get inky so but there and it just adds some subtle background to it which is so great there we go so nice just put that little swirl there but how fun is that? Just to add some bits there. I'm just going to get this little flower in the center. There. So pretty. And that just adds a nice starting background. So if you have a blank page, you don't know what to do with it, grab your stencils and uh, just have a play. But how fun is that? All right, I have this, it's, a, it's just a magazine page and I just folded it up and made it into a corner pocket just to give it some structure. I had been trying uh, different pockets and it didn't really work out for me, so I took it all apart, and then this is what I ended up with. So we're gonna use that. Might as well, it's here on the desk. And it's all about using it up. Um, I think I'm gonna, oh, I'll pop it here. And so here's another opportunity that you can stencil or you can spat or paint. I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. So there we are. And then just grab up one of our document pages. And I haven't inked them. I probably should, but I haven't. This has got black on it. This is just my little, it's, it's very uh, chewed up, but it's quite old. One day, if I remember, I'll uh, <laughs> buy some more. But it's been doing me good so far. And so there we go. So we have a little document and it's in there. Nice. But it doesn't take long to fill up a journal. So this one, I wanted to just make it a page edge, but um, it looks really nice there. But let's find one of the other pages and then why I don't know but you don't have to put it there if you want it to, you can pop it on this side and keep it open on here and I think that's where I'm going to put it and I'll have this side open here just want to ink it up a little I didn't ink every single page that I cut 
gonna there we go and so I'd like it this way going to keep it away from the spine area so that it doesn't interfere with the closing of the journal. And then there's just this little page here. It's a it's a bigger page, but I folded it where all the lines were and then I emphasized it with ink. So let's just see if it'll put in that way. Yep, we'll just do it the way it was folded. There we go, just like that. But how fast is it to get all of these things together? Right, so we did that and we added a pocket and a tag. We just did this. What else did we do in here? We've got a belly band. And then we have this side pocket with another uh, letter. But before you know it, this journal is going to be full. So let's do another tag. No. How about with the rest of this half? Let's do that. But you can grab other ephemera bits to use. You can do anything. I'm just going to add it there. Um, ooh, take it off. There, that's better. looks pretty good. I'm just gonna snip off the top here. A little trim. that. I think I have this. I was going to make a pocket right there. Or, oh, none of those are backed. But I'm just going to cut out this little bit here. There we go. I'm just going to make that a pocket instead. I quite like this. There we go. Mm, I better glue this down. I have a feeling that'll interfere with uh, whatever's going in and out of the pocket. And don't want that. There we go. That's better. All right. You can put a divot in the pocket if you want. Oh, 
I'm just going to put it in the corner over here. And then that'll go in there. It should fit. Just, <laughs> just fits. All right, I'm going to leave it there for today. I think we did quite a bit here. Let's check. We just did this pocket with the tag. And we added this pocket and put in our, our document there. And then we did our belly band with that. And we did our side pocket here with our other ephemera. We added the pocket with the tag. We did some stenciling. And we added this pocket uh, with the big tag there. So there we go. So that's my, that's my um, creation for Antonio. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, questions, comments, please leave them below. And I just want to thank Antonio from the bottom of my heart for, you know, the privilege of working with his kits every month. I have so enjoyed myself. And so this is going to be really the the last uh, presenting of his of his kits because he no longer has his uh, creative squad. But um, I will be working with his kits still, obviously, because I have them and I love creating with them. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm a couple away from 1,200 uh, subscribers. So thank you, thank you. Uh, I cannot do this without you. And I am having so much fun uh, getting to know all of you. And it's just been, it's just been wonderful. All right, God bless. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.